What's the deal with glitches in AQW? This video was suggested uh, quite a bit on my video where I announced that I will be away for a couple of weeks. Now this video will probably be going live while I'm already away, so uh, yeah, but either way, this video was suggested by a couple of people and the comments got quite a few upvotes, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd take, take this uh, challenge and uh, talk about glitches. So I have actually mentioned briefly before what my policy is on glitches, but I'll, I'll elaborate further on what I said back then. So, um, essentially, the reason why there are so many glitches within AQW is because the AQW servers were not were not made by AE. You know, they, they I think they either contracted someone else to do them, or someone that has, that has since left the company has designed the engine or the, or the servers. They've not really elaborated too much on that, um, and uh, but that's generally the gist of it in in layman's terms. I mean, they don't have control. They don't have a hundred percent control over the system that they use to to I guess make the servers or whatever. So. Um, they can't actually fix certain glitches and they can't actually add certain features, which is what the server rewrite is going to hopefully do. It's going to allow them to fix glitches and add features to the game, which will be uh, pretty hype. But either way, the glitches that were specifically mentioned to me, the most common ones I think they are, is the quest glitch, the room glitch, and the merge glitch. Um, those three in particular were mentioned. I'm pretty sure I know what all of them do, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I, I know that that's what they're colloquially know, uh, known as. Um, I know I'm familiar with the quest glitch. The quest glitch, essentially how it works is you do something. I won't explain how to do it, obviously. I'm not, I don't endorse glitches no matter how much, how easy they are or whatever, but either way. Um, it essentially allows you to accept quests and continue quest lines um, from anywhere, pretty much. So it, uh, it makes it so the quest box thing that pops up, the quest pop-up box doesn't ever disappear, uh, which is which is pretty pretty good. It's pretty convenient. Um, now, this is actually interesting because AE has said in the past that they've officially said that this is going to be an intended feature. This is like an actual feature that they are planning to add to the game once the series right is out. So you'll be able to, you know, continue quest lines from where, wherever you want in the game. So I'm not too too worried about this glitch in particular, the quest glitch. I mean, if AE does say that that's an intended feature and they don't they don't ban people that use it, so I mean, I guess that's, that's as close as you're gonna get to for AE to endorse you using this glitch. Um, but either way, I, I still don't recommend you doing it because you're, you're exploiting a problem with the game. But I mean, AE has said that uh, essentially that they don't mind. So uh, I mean, go nuts, I suppose. I'm not gonna tell you how to use it here but uh, I'm sure you can find someone else on YouTube that does know how to use the quest glitch. Now, the other two glitches that were mentioned is the room glitch and the merge glitch. Now, I'm not entirely sh sure how these glitches work. I don't, I haven't used them before, but I believe the room glitch is a glitch that increases DOTs and HOTs on enemies. Um, and the merge glitch is a glitch where you purchase an item from a merge shop and it doesn't actually consume the items from your inventory. So you essentially get to keep the merge items. Um, I don't I don't endorse the usage of either of these glitches. They are against the rules to ex it's against the rules to exploit these two glitches and you will be banned for ex exploiting these two glitches. So uh, they're actually super super broken in terms of how powerful they are. I mean it's kind of weird to describe them that way I guess but um, both of these glitches you're gaining a significant advantage over other players in the game um, and as a result I think it's honestly just not a good good thing to do <laughs> do to abuse them. Um, People were asking for my opinion on glitches, and honestly, if, if AE thinks it's fine, then I think it's fine, and if AE doesn't think it's fine, then I don't think it's fine. It's a uh, it's a pretty easy easy distinction to make. If you get banned from it from using it, then you probably shouldn't use it. But that's, that's my take on it. Uh, whether you know for a fact that you can get away with using it or not, that's your business. But uh, I personally don't think that you should be able to use glitches, or you should use glitches rather, in the game. Either way. I hope you guys did enjoy this. It's trying to one up the last class that was released. What I mean by that, let's let's look at the classes. Let's look at the classes that were around when Legion Paladin was available. 